Well, hello and welcome to AKA Our 80s Live. Today we are in Dallas, Texas to show you the filming locations for RoboCop. is Dallas City Hall. So this was used for the exterior of the OCP headquarters, which supposedly was 95 stories tall. As you can tell, <laughs> not 95 stories. <laughs> We're at the Plaza of Americas, and this is where they use the atrium and the elevators in RoboCop. Now, it was supposed to be 95 stories, but in reality, the elevators only go up 12 stories. Hey, let's go for a ride in the actual elevator where RoboCop went. Ooh, let's do it. Awesome. Okay, here we go. It's elevator B, by the way. If you come here, you're there's nothing to push. These are weird elevators because you push the button first before you go. Here we go. Uh, On the 12th floor. It's crazy. We came out of the Plaza of the Americas, and hey, there was Dallas High School, which was the uh, police precinct. Yeah, we're at the coming in right out of the uh, parking garage here and Keith goes, there's Dallas High School. And there it is, it's beautiful. So this is the actual angle that it's seen in the movie. And y'all, this black building behind there is actually Plaza of the Americas where we just were. And that's where those elevators were. But this is the exterior for Detroit Metro West and that's the police precinct. Behind us is Sons of Herman Hall, and this is where they filmed the interiors to Detroit Metro West. So this is actually a music venue now. Uh, we can't go in, but we can peek in the window. Behind us is Renaissance Tower, and this is where OCP had their headquarters. So they used the interiors of this building way up at the top. We think it was the 54th floor, but they said it was the 95th floor. And this is the part that they used for the boardroom. So several key scenes there. We see the ED-209 malfunction killing poor Kenny. And then we also see later towards the end of the movie, uh, Dick Jones comes flying out the window and lands right down here on the road. It happened right here. We're at Renaissance Tower and we tried to get to floor 54, but the closest we could get was floor 52. Yeah, and my ears are popping. Yeah. This is a really long, a really tall building. Yeah. Um, a long elevator ride. And but we tried to get there for you guys. So we did. So we could see the border. But unfortunately, it wouldn't allow us to get there. Darn. We're on the corner of Pacific and Griffin Street. 
Now the building's not here anymore where the coffee shop is that Lewis goes into, but this is the place where Murphy is twirling his gun. And you can actually see right behind us, right there, is Renaissance Tower. And you know that that is the OCP boardroom in real life. One, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, nine, ten, electric. Boulevard and this is where the big car chase happens where we see Lewis and Murphy chasing after the robbers who have a big truck full of money and they're shooting out the back and you see the reunion tower behind but what's really hilarious is when they were filming this they're just driving back and forth down the same road so at some points you see reunion tower behind them other places you see it in front of them if you have a keen eye you'll notice that some of the landmark items like the old grain elevators and Reunion Arena are not here anymore, so it looks a little different. There's also a big convention center now, but you can definitely tell that this is where that happened. So 703 McKinney, the former Start Club, was infamous in the 80s for lots of drugs. And when they filmed the movie Robocop, it was in the height of popularity. This whole thing was a club. Like 4,000 people could be known to go there in one night. Anyway, that's where they filmed the nightclub scene from Robocop. But as you can see right now, it's undergoing some pretty major construction. Shell gas station would have been where Robocop had to shoot out with the bad guy and the bad guy blew up the gas station. It was a cool scene. And it was a cool old gas station. Unfortunately, it's gone. It's just this empty parking lot now. But behind there, you can see a really old YMCA that looks pretty cool as well. Behind us is the old Dallas City Hall and there's some workplace violence going on and a guy got crazy at work and a robocop proceeds to take him out. He throws him out the window. Throws him out the second story window. These windows are boarded right now, but maybe they're just worried that somebody will come flying out. There's a lot of flying out the window in this movie, I've noticed. So in real life, this is the Dallas Municipal Building. Fun fact, well not so fun fact, this is actually where Lee Harvey Oswald was taken um, and, and kept after he killed JFK. And then, in a turn of events, he was actually killed here in the basement by Jack Ruby. A little history there for you, a little history lesson. Now we're in Lake Highlands and we're about to drive up and see the exterior shot for Murphy's house. Murphy has a condo on Church Street. Um, they only used it for the outside. And this part is kind of sad. He gets the address where he used to live and he goes and finds his old place and it's, it's empty, it's for sale. But then he gets these flashback memories of when he lived there with his wife and his son and it's really touching. I honestly, when I watched RoboCop, I didn't expect it to be so sad. Um, and this part was especially touching. So let's go see Murphy's condo. He sees a sign that says Primrose, but it's a fake sign. That's not the real name of the street. And then he turns right here into the condo area between these two buildings. Down this little alley. There's the uh, one that you see that has the funky curve on the uh, on the windows, windows there. Yeah. yeah, that looks familiar. And, and 
And I think it's just this next one. It's the one on the right. A couple things you can tell that this is the right place is one is this little courtyard um, beside the house and, With all, the trees. and also that tree that's in the backyard. It was much smaller then. Yeah, it's gotten bigger. Yeah. And then he goes into the door there, the gate, there's a gate there now, I don't think it was there, but he goes into that door and then they switch to a different location for the inside. So let's go there now. Let's go there and check it out. So a few miles away from where Murphy's exterior shots of his house were at, this is where they shot the interiors. And this is a huge house. It looks small, but it's actually square in shape with a courtyard in the middle that has a big pool. And if you notice in the movie, when he's walking around, he actually walks in a square. And if you look out the windows, you can see the pool out there. And it has that really distinctive fireplace with the tile and stuff. So we were able to find some interior pictures. We're gonna go go ahead and put these here so you can see how it looked from the movie and how it might look today. This home was used for the interior of Bob Morton's house. This is the part where Bodiger shows up, shoots his knees out, and then he dramatically pulls a grenade and blows up the house. But before that, you get the iconic line from Dick Jones, I'm cashing you out, Bob. Cashing you out, Bob. This was a real location that we found in Dallas. That house was like that. In fact, all the television cameras that you see there were there too. I mean, we didn't have to do anything really. We just had to plug them in and we could shoot it as it was. Because it's, it looks like it was set up for movie making, isn't it? But the guy was interested in communication and electronics and he had set up his house completely like that. So we can just use it. So in the scene when the lady is running from the bad guys down the alleyway, that would have happened right here. So she would have run down this direction. And a couple of landmarks you can see in the, uh, in the movie are the parking garage in the background and then this building here. You can also see this building here in the background as well. Now on the other side, there was a red brick building that had a fire escape on the side, which you can see. Unfortunately, it's gone, so it is now a parking lot. And this is the scene where the bad gang gets the new weapons to take on Robocop and they decide to take them for a little spin and they blow up all these buildings and they blow up the sucks car <laughs> right along this area right in here. We're still in Deep Ellum. Behind us is the Bomb Factory. It's actually a music venue. It looks pretty cool. It's huge. But in the movie, it was the Cocaine Factory. This is the place where the bad guys were there. They had quite an operation. It's a huge place. They were making cocaine. Robocop shows up and he shoots a bunch of the guys. Miraculously, none of them die because yeah. then they come back later in the movie. But he disables them. And then this is where he runs into Bodiger and he gives a confession that he works for Dick Jones. After that, Robocop's like, I gotta go get Dick Jones. Then he heads over to the OCP. It's a very dramatic scene. And it all was filmed right inside this building. You can tell by looking at the windows from the outside that it was the same building, but we can't go inside. It's currently closed. One of these days we'll have to come here for a concert. Yeah, we we'll definitely check it out. Yeah. At the end of the movie, Robocop pulls up to OCP headquarters, which is really Dallas City Hall. He pulls up and he gets out and there's an ED-209 right over here. He comes out from over here and you can tell by this little code here and also by this old payphone that's still there. Oh my goodness. 
I can't believe there's actually still a payphone here. But it looks like it's out of order. This is where Robocop comes to the OCP and he is going after Dick Jones and he runs in through here, goes up the elevators and all that. Later, we see him coming out. He's being chased by the, the ED-209 and he comes out that door and then the next thing you know, here comes all of the police and everybody's one thing you might notice is different is here where it says Crescent 100. That was actually neon. It was in the cool. Movie. We'll show you guys like, a picture. It's like blue neon. Yeah, it said OCP and it had the neon and everything. But the rest of it looks the same. It's got even still got trash cans. They had the trash cans with the neon around them and stuff. Yeah, but the uh, the, the newspaper stands are missing that were over there. True. Do they even have those anymore? I didn't see any downtown either. Yeah, yeah. So they're kind of a thing of the past. Yeah. So anyway, after that. After he runs out, then they start shooting at him. Runs around this corner, we're gonna walk over there and show you guys. All right, so he comes out this door here, he gets shot at, mm -hmm. he comes around. It's kind of eerie down here. It's spooky. <laughs> I'm not a big fan of parking garages. There are lots of renovations going on right now because I think uh, so many offices are empty. Okay. All right, so he comes over here. Yes. And if you notice, the uh, the wire here, that's the retaining wall. He hops over this thing dramatically. And he falls down, falls down, over to down there. And then they switch to a different scene in another parking garage and he falls over another rail. And then that's where Lewis saves him and gets him out of here. Of course, when you're filming a movie, it can't be done entirely on location. They also use sound stages. And so for RoboCop, they use the sound stages at the studios at Las Colinas. 